Hi, it's Jenny from the Saddle Bank, and today we're going to be looking at how to change a gullet bar in a Kenton Master saddle. So we've got a Kenton Master's cob saddle here. Now the cob saddles have square cantles, which means they take the S bar, so that's a shorter one. And you can see the difference in size there. This is an R bar, that's for round cantle saddles, and that's the S bar for square cantle saddles. So we're going to be using the shorter one today because that fits in the cob model. So first of all, what we're going to be doing is take an Allen key, um, sort of standard size Allen key, and we're going to undo the two outer bolts. Okay, so we're going to take our Allen key and we're just going to undo the two outer bolts. And hopefully they're not too stiff. So some saddles, if you've not changed it for a long time, they can get a little bit stiff there. So hopefully your screw is not too stiff. If it is very stiff, you're going to need to be very careful that you don't round it off because if you round it off, it becomes a much bigger, bigger job and it's really not what you want to be doing. If you do have one that's a little bit stiff, you can try using a little bit of WD-40, just spray it on around the edge um, and hopefully that will help loosen it. But I say try not to round it off because it will cause you a lot more problems. So once we've taken the two outer bolts out, we're then going to slip off the saddle panels from the points of the tree. So as you can see, pop and pop. So these are the points of the tree here. And there's the bar and you've got four bolts here. So I'm just going to move that flap down so you can see. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to remove those bolts. Now, what's important to note here, when you get to this stage, just note what the um, which way the bar's in. So they have an angled shape to them, which you can see. So you've got a side which is angled there. So we're going to need to put it in the same way as this one. If we put it in that way, what will happen is the bar will sort of flick up a little bit and it won't sit flush in the um, indentation there. so really important to make sure you pop it in the right way round so just removing all four bolts again try not to round them off if they are stiff because it's going to cause a lot of problems for you but hopefully you'll have one that's quite easy to undo Now, as you can see here, this is the S bar again, so it's a shorter bar. If you try and fit an R bar, which is the longer one, into this saddle, it's not going to work because, you know, you're going to want to put a screw in up here somewhere and you don't have holes up there. So it's really important to make sure that you do get the right bar for your saddle. And again, if you look here closely, it does actually show you this side, um, that there is a slight slant there. So that's the way you're going to need to put the bar into the saddle. So pop your bar in. And then just start to do a couple of your bolts up on one side. So we're going narrower here. So we're going from a 2x wide to an extra wide. Um, and we're going to need to make sure, we're going to need to pull it in essentially from one side to, to try and get it to actually come in a little bit narrower for us. So I'm just going to do these bolts up, not too tight for the time being. Okay, so now we're going to pull this side the saddle in and we are going to pop the other bolt through so yeah you may need to do it from different angles just depending and obviously <clears throat> just to try and wrestle it in there but you'll see it comes in nicely and that basically pulls the points of the tree and the saddle head just together into a slightly narrower size um, so this is for a slightly narrower horse and it was used previously on and again we're just going to pop the last bolt in there And then I'm just going to check that they're all tight enough. So we don't, we want them to be tight, but we don't want them to be ridiculously tight because if they are too tight, next time you go to change it, you might not be able to get them out and then you will start end up rounding it off. So you want them tight, but you don't want them excessively tight. So that's fine. So then we're going to pop the flap back over and then we're going to slide the point back into the point pocket. See? And same for the other side. So once you've got all of your four bolts on, you've popped the flap on and you've popped the points back into the point pockets, it's just time to do those two outer bolts back up again. And you do the same with the other side. So it goes from this angle. And 
And again, you want to make sure it's nice and secure, but not excessively tight because they can get rusty sometimes as well. So you will end up rounding it off. There we go. That's all done. So that's the Kentamasas Coral all adjusted down from a 2X wide to a 1X wide. And um, I hope you found that really, really useful. If you've got any questions, do drop them in the comments below. Make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media at The Saddlebank for loads more tips and tricks. Thank you.